In this video, we're going to be going over how to geo target Facebook or meta ads. So the first thing we need to do if we want to target a specific location or geo target someone is we need to make sure we have our ad account set up. I'm not going to go through this process, but make sure you've created your Facebook or meta ad account already. You can Google how to do that. Once you're there, you come in to ads manager for Facebook. And once you're on this page, the first thing you're going to need to do is hover over this left hand side over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into audiences. Now you do have the ability to go into campaigns, create a whole ad campaign, and then you'll find this setting as well. But I find what's easier is to come into audiences. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a saved audience. So you can see there's a couple different types. We have custom audiences, lookalike or saved. And what this saved audience is going to do is this is going to allow us to save and use this audience across multiple campaigns. And we could even create different versions of these if we wanted to and target different locations, different interests and other things as well. So I click create a saved audience and I'm going to name this. So I'm going to want to target, let's say Dallas. So I'm just going to call this Dallas. If I had more information, I could put that in the title and save it here. Now we're going to have a couple options when we're creating this audience. And this is what's going to be used for targeting when we select this audience, when we create our ad. So under audience controls here, the first thing you have is locations. So there's a couple different ways that you can geo target or choose these locations. First is you can just, it'll automatically select usually your country. If you wanted to change this or remove this, all you have to do is hit the little X here. What we want to choose again, you can include or exclude here. We want to choose a specific location. So if I want to Dallas, for example, I'm just going to type in Dallas and I can see all the different options it gives me. And you can see they have different neighborhoods or markets or cities. So let's say I just want Dallas, Texas. I can see it adds on this map a little radius circle and it'll target everyone in this radius. And if I come up to where it says Dallas, Texas up here, you'll see it says plus 25 miles. So that is the radius of this circle. If I come in, I can change this either down to 10 or up to 50. Now you cannot drop it below 10. A lot of people try to do this, want to try and target one or two people. You cannot do that. They don't allow for that. So choose how big your radius you want it. We'll just leave it as 25 for now. And you'll also notice a little setting down here. It says reach more people likely to respond to your ads. If you have this checked, it's going to show your ads to people outside of this circle. So if you only want it in that circle, then you're going to need to uncheck that. And one of the items you should be keeping an eye on as you're adding in specific locations is this estimated audience size up here. We can see it's 5.2 to 6.1. And the smaller we make this circle, so if I made this a radius of 10, you'll see how low this audience drops. Now, we want to have a healthy amount of people in here. We don't want to target it down too, too low. Otherwise, we're either going to not be able to spend our budget or we're going to be showing it to people who might not be interested. So we're going to leave this at 25 again. Now we can even add in a second one. Let's say I wanted to target Houston as well. I can come in, click Houston, and you'll now see if I zoom out, I have two circles up here and I can adjust these each. And again, this is including, you can also exclude certain locations if you wanted to, that might fall inside of this territory here. So from here, you have other options as well. We can browse from here and you can do it based off of countries. If you're doing it that broad, you can go into regions here or even see any safe locations you have. Now, another option you do have is the ability to drop a pin. So if I didn't want just Dallas, maybe I wanted it a little half and half elsewhere. I can drop a pin here and let's say I remove Dallas and choose a radius based off of this pin that I moved over here. So I could create multiple of these if I really wanted to, and just the full city is not really what I wanted. So you're able to utilize that as well. You also have an option down here, add locations in bulk, where I can come in and I can upload a list for countries, for states, for cities, postal codes, or even addresses. So for postal codes, if I just come in and paste or even upload a file that has a bunch of zip codes. So for example, these are Dallas zip codes. I can click match locations. It'll show me all the match locations based off these, where it is in the city, and I can add these locations. And now you'll see all of them. These zip codes are now targeted and you can see the outlines of all these different zip codes I've added here. 
So you can also utilize it this way. But again, keep in mind, this audience size is going to go down and you really don't want this super, super low. Usually a healthy spot is between around 250,000 to a million if you're doing these locations or a lot higher if you are doing a lot more broad. But if you're trying to do a very small market, let's say you're a location based business and you are traveling to these areas, then you're going to want to have a little bit of a smaller one. But again, it can get too small. So once you have all of your locations in here, that is the geo targeting aspect, but we can also save this audience over here and we can choose our minimum age. So we're just going to leave this as 18 for now. We can choose any custom audiences. Now we don't have any custom audiences, so we're going to skip over this for now. We can lower this down based off language. So we will only show it to people who maybe speak English. I'll put the US. And again, we'll see this might change if that affects it much. And as we come down more, Advantage Plus, we're going to skip over for now. We're not using the custom audience. But now we can create our actual targeting for the saved audience. So we have that geolocation. We could save that by itself if we wanted to and use that. Or we can come in and start to say, okay, whatever I'm selling, I really sell to older people. So maybe I'm going 30 to 65 plus. That's the age range I'm selling to. So now it's only showing my ad to people in all of these zip codes that speak English or have English as their language and are between this age range. You can also choose gender if you want to. So if I just choose women, you can see this number goes down the more and more that I cause it to decrease based off the age and the gender and whatnot. So I'm going to leave this back to 18 if this is all. And then we have the option for detailed targeting. So this is where we're going to be able to add any demographics, any of their interests, their behaviors. So one of the easy ways, let's say I'm selling health and fitness stuff. I would type in a keyword that I think is relevant to whatever ad or type of people I want to reach. And I'll be able to see, okay, physical fitness. I can see all these different branches and we can see as an interest, we can see how big this interest is based off the size over here. And I can say, okay, maybe I want to add people who are interested in 24 hour fitness or are in physical fitness, let's say, and then I can continue to add more. But as I add this interest, it is now only showing it to people that meet this and all the criteria above. So this number will decrease as you do that again. They also give you the option to browse any of these different demographics, interests, and behaviors. So if I go into demographics, I can do it by their education level by their income level. I can even do it by life events saying how far away are they from their family or their hometown? When's their birthday? Is it coming up? Are they newly engaged based off a certain timeline? If you're selling to newlyweds, those kind of things, did they recently move? So there's a lot of information that they have on here. Interests are usually the number one thing. So you can click into these different areas. So we said fitness and wellness, maybe bodybuilding is one I want to add. And I can just narrow down this audience by adding all of these things and save this to use in the future. Now, if I want to narrow this audience down, if I were to add multiple things here, like I say, weight training, bodybuilding, they only have to meet one of these. They don't have to meet all of them. But if I were to click narrow audience and I remove bodybuilding here and I add it here, then that means they must also they must have weight training as their interest and bodybuilding as well. Otherwise they won't show up and you'll see how much this drops that audience. So we are paying attention to that a good amount. Now, if you want to narrow it, you can. And one of the last sections, which is pretty interesting, this is a little bit more advanced, but under behaviors here, you can do this based off of their anniversaries, based off of their purchase behaviors, what devices they're on, digital activities. There's a lot, even purchase behavior. So they've engaged shoppers they've clicked on the shop now button in the past week. So people are actively clicking on ads and engaged. There's a lot of different areas and behaviors and interests you can target down here. And then I would come up and I would save this audience up here. And when I'm done, I'm going to click create saved audience. And you'll see that name of that audience I have is right here. I can always come back in, click this, edit it as well. And when I want to create a campaign in here, all I'm going to do click on this, and then I'm going to click these three little dots up here, and then I'm going to click create ad. It's going to open a new tab and it will automatically have this audience loaded in and I can create an ad campaign this way. And when you click through, you'll be able to get into your actual audience down here. So we can see 
if you're creating your campaign the normal way as well, this is how you can add it automatically. We see it's using this Dallas audience that we saved. We can see the locations, all of the stuff that we've set before. And we can even come in and edit this for this specific one we saved if we want to change it for this ad. Now, if you did not want to use this saved audience, I could come in and unselect this and you'll see this disappear. Or I can come in and change this to a different saved audience. So that is how you can create these saved audiences and geotarget and use them on your Facebook campaigns. Need extra help with your marketing or social media? Well, utilize our free marketing resources like our social media blueprint ebook or our 150 social media post ideas. You can grab these free resources in the description below.